simple ladies and gents when then when do you start drinking those not something i really buy for myself but rachel can't drink so she drinks the sparkling water so i got her a case oh and they're all right yeah try it i think i had a sip of the one you put in there. yeah so it's like it's blood orange or something yeah zero calories zero sweeteners just kind of like tasted so if they're in there i'll drink them cheap that's pretty good. Yeah, it's like a, it's a sparkly beverage. So it's like you, you still get that burn, you know, the little, little woo. I don't get the burn. What do you mean, like because like, allow, allow me to allow me to elaborate mm-hmm. because I don't drink it like I would drink water or Gatorade. If it's carbonated, I've done this my whole life. I'll drink go, and then the bubbles kind of get watered down the time they go. So it's not even. So that. you don't like the burn. I just don't like drinking it that way. Well, just drink it that way. I can. It's not enjoyable. I'm saying try it. You haven't, done, you haven't done it in years. Apparently. I have done it. I'm saying I just do it with everything. Slurpees, any type of soda. I go, <sighs> See, I try, like try the, just do the, if it's more flavored, it's better. But if you, I feel like it tastes better when I do that. Oh, you don't even know how to, you don't even know how to do it. No. It is less burn. You put less in your mouth and you do, you, it's in there. You go, as it's, as it's flowing. No, yeah, you're just, you're just doing the motion. You're like, Let me see it. So you like chew it. It looks like I'm chewing it, but yeah. I'm not. It, it gets more. It gets more fizzy. It is less burny though. That's yes, less burny. Feel the burn. It's yeah, less burny. Wow. Welcome back. Stop this run. Let's hit episode one forty four. Episode 144. Uh, first of all, I just want to start with our sponsors, uh, starting with After Oceans, bringing ideas and ads to life, and also want to shout out Live Stallion, the Wellness Fitness Space Star Bay, TLT Zone, Brandon Body Auto, uh, Streams. I don't fucking know when. Um, company. Not bankrupt. Uh, shout out his dog's coach at Synergy Canine and the Puppy <laughs> Plyometrics. Um, James, take away. Uh, got moles if you have moles in the Puget Sound area. Servicing northern Seattle to southern Tacoma. They're your premier mole exterminator using chemical free methods. Atlas aeration making your lawn look like my pubes. And uh, yeah, shout out the uh, Wilkes and Eags again. We were the talk of the town last night. I forgot to tell you about that. You were sitting at home. You're talking about? Talking about our podcast. Fucking Who? Just, the president guy was telling other people fucking about it. Nice. Oh, they got to listen. And apparently, uh, I don't condone children listening to this podcast, but apparently he was playing it for his wife um, the last episode because he thought it was so fucking funny. And his kids were listening. And now the new term around the house is ghost loads. Ghost loads. Yes. Nice. And they everyone just thought that was the funniest shit. I'm like. You know, like, oh, I still got it. Uh, I'm just like, <laughs> I'm like, oh, fucking. I just, I just, I just didn't think it was gonna be that. Yeah, Ghost yeah, I, I yeah. get that. Yeah, yeah. So, um, well, I did have something, a story I wanted to um, start us off with that I saw, which I thought was fucking amazing. So this is pretty recent. Um, actually, it's happening like apparently within this week or something. So there's 13 <laughs> killer whales that are trapped in ice <laughs> in northern Japan. Um, officials are unable to launch a rescue operation. Um, Japanese environmentalists call to action. What the <laughs> fuck <laughs> are you? Are we supposed to do? There are thirteen. There is an over a dozen. A baker's dozen of, of orcas stuck in ice. <laughs> are they out? Okay, I want you to tell me this. What kind of mission <laughs> could you launch to get orcas out of the? Because mi- look at the picture. They're stuck in a middle. It's an ocean of ice. 
I thought they were frozen. No, 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 they're alive. They're just stuck in this wall of ice. They can't like go and down. Like a skull. That's I'm thinking. I don't know. Yeah. But apparently it's so thick. And de- <laughs> <laughs> well, they try to go. No, under. Uh, okay, they're they're okay. They're stuck. I don't know if maybe that there's so much that it broke off and it literally like it just trapped them in this little cove. <laughs> it's kind of weird. And it is funny. But I'm saying environment- <laughs> a whale hunter's env- dream. Environmentalists call to action. What the fuck do you want us to do? Put on our Batman suit, and fly to fucking Japan, and drive them out of the ice? Maybe you get like a fucking forklift or something, and just <laughs> do you remember that Family Guy where he sticks the forklift okay, in the I'm whale. Saying, okay, realistically, you can't get anything out there. A boat, there's boats that are made to go through like ice and shit. But like, 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 like the Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> that one didn't make quite make, or did it? Was it a conspiracy? Ah. That's, that's for a different time. Yeah. But I'm just saying, I don't know if that's the best use of our tax. Oh, okay, well, it's Japan, so maybe it's not our tax dollars. Yeah, it's, it's their tax dollars. I don't know. Somehow what, we'll get involved. I'm just saying how the fuck, call, I hate when, you know what, call I hate, to action. I hate when shit like that What do happens. you want me to do and about like, the orcas in it, Japan? Yeah, no, it's like something crazy. We need the public to get involved. What the fuck? Do you want raise to awareness? Do? I guess we did that. With the awareness raised. Yeah, I guess we did that. And, and and I have a segue off of that because there's another thing like it that's just fucking dumb. I'm sorry, but so okay. I don't know if you heard about this. This was last week. Um, Amelia Earhart's plane possibly may have been found 86 years later. They think they found the spot in which her plane is. What was her plane's name? Don't they all have a name like, I, like I Old Goose or something? No. Well, Lind- Lindbergh's was the spirit of St. Louis, wasn't it? I don't know what the fuck hers. Well, oh, oh, yeah. I don't know yeah. what the fuck her plane name was. Um, obviously, <laughs> obviously, couldn't swim well. Um, so, I'm, but anyways, I'm saying, and they are don't, don't literally, to save the they are literally, they are putting together a team to go, like they're going to confirm that if, if it's if it's hers, and then they're going to go down there and drag it up from the bottom of the fucking ocean. Oh, it's in the ocean. And I'm assuming this is a government funded project <laughs> using tax dollars. Why the fuck? I'm sorry. <laughs> Why the fuck? I'm sorry. Okay, look, she did she did she did cool shit in her life. Yeah, she flew a plane. She was the first one to do a lot of shit. That's awesome. First woman to fly uh, try to fly across the ocean. Yeah, she tried. No, I'm saying, did but she, she did. She did other things. She made some of the longest flights, especially for a woman at the time. Which is she, okay, That's but awesome. there's no way I could do cool shit. And then 100 years ago, if I'm crashed somewhere at the bottom, why the fuck do you want my shit? Also, wasn't it made out of wood? I don't know what the fuck it was made it's got of. Got the old either things. way, it's under there. Would it just fall into pieces? Are you dragging up anyways? It's like that fucking. They are going to spend millions of dollars to go grab this thing <laughs> that's sitting at the bottom of the ocean with no value at all, other than the fact of like to put it in a museum and be like, whoa, whoa. Just show, show us a picture it's of a it. Piece of history. No, it, it's, it, it's like when you have like a bowl of food and it's been sitting there too long and you know, like you touch it, it goes. That's what it would be. That, that is, that's gross. what it is. When something sits that long, like, okay, the, the Titanic. Send the whales like, to get the fucking yeah, yeah. plane <laughs> after we save them. It's like a, it's a trade off. Yeah, and then put little Go, GoPros on them. <laughs> we'll free you. You get us this plane. Dude, but it's like, okay, like the Titanic. I'm saying they've, t- there's no way they could get, they could, if they ever attempted to get it off the bottom, it just fall into pieces. How would you lift? We can't even get whales out of ice. Saying, We're gonna lift the Titanic. I'm saying oh. if they ha- if they tried to hook up to something, lift anything out of there, everything would just fall. Do you think fish just wait for that shit? Because it's like an already built home. Well, yeah, because there's always fish in them. There's always well, there's yeah. Well, around. dude, imagine you're a fucking fish and the Titanic falls and you're like first to the master, like the suite, dude. And you're like, oh shit, got a king size bed. Well, apparently, an aquarium. Well, there's just tons right, of wait. like they're, all they found. There's just tons of shoes and shit down there. <laughs> Do they have size ten and a half? Or? Well, <laughs> they probably have some tap shoes or something sick down there. <laughs> no, because it's only shoes. Well, because because the bodies disintegrate, and then the last thing to go are the bones, and the bones weigh it down to the floor, and then the bones are the last thing to go. So as they go, it leaves the shoes. <laughs> just a, there's no other clothes. It's just shoes. <laughs> there's like articles that they still get eaten away too. It's it's just shoes mostly, and like watches and glasses. Well, I can see that, but shoes are still like leather or something. Like wouldn't it? I don't know. I didn't make the Imagine shoes. you just go down there and just eat the shoes. Oh, the well, there's a pale shoe source down there. <laughs> the, 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 the bigger, the octopus are wearing them. <laughs> octopus got fucking eight fucking tap shoes, dude. Dude, <laughs> <that's> just... <laughs> dude imagine a fucking an anemone with like 20 little shoes. <laughs> so I'm saying, okay, if we can't get the fucking orcas, I, I, I want to go back to the whales. I want to so, go back to the whales too, bro. So obviously they can't get, they can't go over, right? You saw it. It's literally like, uh, just as far as the eye can see, I'm just solid fucking yeah, ice. But I'm but thinking they, ice only goes down so far. It only freezes. It can't freeze all the way to the bottom. It, it's impossible. It won't happen. So I don't understand their under, breath, long, but they're, they're they fish. Breath? They're they're breathing in water, so they're good. They're, they're mammals. That's why they have the blowhole. Don't they actually breathe air? 
That's why they come up. Well, they don't have to come. They, have, they can hold their breath for like fucking. I know. That's what I'm saying. Hours. How deep is the ice? But the other thing I was thinking of is if they get their uh, belly on the ice, the heat's going to slowly melt it, and they can just shimmy their way. But I, well, the they're not side. that warm, I don't think, because the blubber they've been in cold <laughs> water, and you get on. They're not just fucking be like, oh my god, that's warm. <laughs> they're not. They're not <laughs> fucking. <laughs> warm. <laughs> can you ride a whale? Well, I think you could theoretically if you were able to get a saddle on such. Is it a saddle or like a, or do you go bareback? You can't go bareback. You slip right off. Pens. If you have like a grippy. A grippy pant? Well, maybe some pine tar a, on the fin. A grippy whale pant. That's the new thing. Well, what what are the ones that, like, turn on their trainers at SeaWorld? Don't they fucking Those just, are like, orcas. Yeah. Like, do they just hit, like, a snapping point of, like, I'm not going to balance this ball anymore? Well, I think it's <laughs> the fact that they're fucking wild animals. And just also, I, I want to know who... Dude, they kill shit for fun. Orcas, they're actually fucking mean as fuck. Really? They kill shit for fun. So they, they're they... called killer whales? Well, I would imagine so. They are fucking mean, dude. Dude, they dude they'll, go to, they'll go up to... Sh- <laughs> Because dolphins rape. I'm being. Dolphins serious. do rape. I was gonna say they, dolphins they, they go up to sharks. They'll just eat like their fucking liver and then leave them dead. Just to, like watch them. Yes. Just, like, yeah. Yeah. They're fucking mean, oh, dude. Oh my god. Yeah, they're freaks. Uh, I'm. I, what I want to know is like humans are humans are. You know, we, we like to push the boundaries. Who's the first one? Who, who are, is like better question? Who are the environmentalists that are like? Oh, call to action. Okay, back to whatever the fuck I was doing. By the way, who gives them the rights? By the way. Can we just say, I'm not trying to hate on environmentalists and people who do that. Talk about a walk in the park a little bit, right? I'm just saying, they're just sitting there telling people to fuck, oh, we need to do this. Hey, the environment over here sucks. Hey, this sucks. I'm going to do a test over here, look at this great view, and then tell you how much this world sucks. Also, I don't know. I just feel like they got a picture from an aerial view, like the helicopter you're in. How about you put a net down how and about grab I have one? an idea. Shoot a fucking missile into there <laughs> and put them out of their misery. Or like it hits the water like a big katoom and the or whales go it, everywhere. Or shoot their way out. Yeah. Get some, just yeah. shoot a path. No, I'm thinking like, dude, like a big bomb that goes boom and then just like the whales go everywhere and hopefully they'll make it over the ice. So <laughs> but imagine well, they, they would be dead. Imagine if they don't just go <laughs> <laughs> splat and start sliding. Dude, I want to know what, like, environment, like, I feel like politicians, like, listen to them and shit. I feel like they should on certain things. I'm just saying some of the times there'll be things happening and it's like, oh, like, can they just fucking what makes say you yes to any, I'm saying, I don't, obviously, a degree most of them are the smart environment, people. Well, most of them have, like, masters and stuff. Most of them are very yeah, smart people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm just saying, I feel like politicians can just fucking do any like I'm just saying they're just blatantly stealing money they're blatantly <laughs> insider trading they're smoking crack they're molesting they're fucking everybody and it's and, 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 no one cares. And, and it's okay no one cares nobody cares Twitter and cares it, dude, kind of but I'm saying it's it's just okay and we every single person who knows anything knows that that's what's going on nobody cares they can just do it. It's it like is the, a weird thing to think No, of. think about it. It's like the Wild West. They're out fucking kids and selling kids, <laughs> and they're out doing drugs, and, and they're just- And they got caught. And they got caught, and, and they're, they're stealing st- and they're stealing money. This guy makes 175 k a year. He's worth $45 million, which just tells us, blares us, this guy's stealing shit, and everyone's like, okay, cool. What's the next law you're going to pass? <laughs> what the fuck? It's crazy. It's nuts, because, dude, this, I watched this video of this guy, and he went through, like, everyone on the Senate- what they should make and what they are, I mean, how, that, how long they've been there. Every single one of them are fucking millionaires up their ass and don't even make anywhere near that. And it's just screaming in our face. No one cares. Insider trading. And they can do whatever the fuck they want. It's crazy. It's crazy. Sounds like a party if you ask me. <laughs> Let's be politicians. Dude, it's crazy that like, you know, when people talk about it, it's like, oh, well, you know, you can't trust a politician. Like, like, we know that. But then it's like, also, they, it's like when the Epstein shit happened, it's like, Bill Clinton named like 185 times by by a like a by a girl or whatever. Nothing. Happened. If it was any normal person, he'd be in the fucking interrogation room the next day. But I I I, I don't I don't understand. What, what, what I don't understand is that like you have a little girl saying that you did all this shit and you're still just yeah joking. because he's rich as fuck. How does that make any sense? It makes plenty of sense. Well, no, I, I'm saying like, I figured like, hey, after like, you know, oh, here's the concrete evidence. Like, you know, you got to be locked up. Yeah, and what, it's like, even if she walked up to the fucking Supreme Court and had a video of him clapping her cheeks, they probably still would let him walk. I'd be like, oh, is that it really him? <laughs> yeah. yeah. They'd be like, oh, I don't know if that was That's Bill. fucking crazy, dude. Uh, it's, it's nuts. I feel like, I mean. If when you, you think about it, it is weird. Like, we're literally just, we know these guys just 
do the most fucked up shit. And we're just like, ah. Well, right. it's like fucking Dave Chappelle said. I mean, I'm not like, one, I think Trump's the funniest guy to fucking watch politically. I don't really give He's a hilarious. shit about any He's of them. Hilarious. It's probably just as crooked as the other people. But um, what was funny that Chappelle said that one time is it was like, the only thing interesting he did is that he walked into the, the, the big scary castle, walked out and said, everything you guys think is going on in there is fucking going on in there. And it's like, what the fuck? Yeah, like, because it is. And it's, it's, it's worldwide known. And even the Epstein <clears throat> shit, I'm saying, uh, but like, if, did you ever watch that documentary? Mm-hmm. On, like, it, it's, they knew. Everyone knew. And then the first time he goes to court, it gets dropped. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> because this guy had a, is in bed with the whole entire municipal court. And it's just insane. knew, like, it's, it's just crazy. It's crazy. I mean, like, if, if you're in an office, like, how far are you going to push it? I mean, I, I'm definitely, like, smoking crack or something. Oh, yeah. I'm doing yeah. lines off the tables. I'm, yeah. I'm gambling. I'm doing insider, I'm insider trading. trading. Yeah, 100%. Sure. Yeah, 100%. But, like, I, I'm not going to do anything. But think crazy about it. it, it and it's like, they're never going to not be allowed to abuse power because of the fact of, like, like these companies on their insider trading, like imagine it. It's like, first of all, okay, if I could just, I could just tell these guys in the Senate to like about this trade, to like, hey, buy this stock, and then in return, now they they'll give me a favor. Mm-hmm. And so it's just like it's a never ending thing of like the rich people just giving each other shit. So it's like we're all fucked. Yeah, we're all fucked. Yeah, but anyways, um, I would be doing crazy shit. I'd be, I'd be Joe Biden's. Uh, I've never brother. done crack, but I think if I was like the president, like I'm when doing I'm watching crack. Hunter Biden and some of the shit, I'm like. Like at one point, okay, I watched this. Thing. Like I was reading this article. Like he had a string of days for like two weeks. This guy was all over the goddamn place. He was in Brazil, and then he was in Hungary, and then he was he was partying every single way. And then it's him. There's literally a video of him weighing crack on a fucking scale. He's sorting lines with a bunch of hookers, and then. After that, there's a picture the next day on Instagram. He's going down a water slide with a bunch of Colombian hookers. And I'm like, this guy's got it going on. That's what I'd be doing. What does he do? Nothing. Oh, he's, just the son of, he's just the son, son of, the of the president. president. And he's living the dream. <laughs> he's living the dream. The crazy is the president's salary is like 300 and then, G's. And now that he blows okay, that in a and day. I remember like the laptop, all this shit. Mm. Okay, all that time has passed. And now everyone's like, well, that's just Hunter. <laughs> that's <laughs> and, the it's president's just, and it's just cool. It's just allowed. And he's not going. To, he's not going to jail. His his fucking dad's the commander in chief. He can do whatever the fuck he wants, <laughs> and he knows it. He knows, knows it. it. Oh he knows God. it. Well, dude, he's oh, saying, Hunter, we got your laptop. So the fuck what? <laughs> and just keeps going. God, that's what a, insane. Honestly, jealous of the guy, dude. Unemployed, rich, doesn't have to do a damn thing. If he does anything, he can get himself bailed out. He's got it made. And guess what? Anyone with that get out of jail free card that's not using it is a fucking pussy. I agree. Well, dude, what's funny is at least like, he's using it. I can respect him because he's using the get out of jail free card. It's funny is like when we had like Obama in office, like they're like, oh, like look at his like sweet daughters and stuff, and oh, they're growing up and stuff, and then we just have Uncle Joe, dude, and fucking his son just going absolutely bonkers, apes to the wall, dude, eyes like dinner plates, just yeah. He's- and the thing is, is he's looking at the webcam too, like he's recording it. He's like, yeah, watch. Yeah. <laughs> fucking schedule one drug should be a felony. Nope. I'm going to fucking. Yeah. And he got out of everything. Why does no one care? It's crazy. It's nuts. But if I go smoke crack and I do some of this shit, then I have consequences for it. Well, I feel like we, should we do crack? No, but I was going to say it is uh, <laughs> like for drug charges now are pretty, they're pretty loose on it. Usually you just get let go. Yeah. There's too many. There's too They don't have room to arrest everyone for doing fucked up shit. I feel like if you're like the president, well, what's interesting is it makes our country look just kind of like, what the fuck? Cause you got all these other countries like not respecting us. Cause it's like, oh, here's your commander and his son is really smoking crack. It's with insane, hookers. dude. It's, but I, I got, I got to tip my cap to the guy cause he's doing it right. And if you have, if you're in that position for that amount of time to do whatever the fuck you want, you might as well fucking do it. Not to mention, dude, dude, he took it to the, he took his party to the white house. That's fucking that's awesome. Baller. I, okay, listen, that's, that's a bucket list item. If I was him, I'd have to do it. And they, cause they found like drugs in the fucking White House, dude. It, you sure they weren't Uncle Joe's? Either way, amazing. <laughs> that's, I don't care. That's cool as fuck. That's a story. Imagine, that's, hey, imagine that, that's that, that your story. buddy's like, hey, you guys wanna fucking line up? You guys up wanna it? line it up in the Oval <laughs> Office or what? I would. You guys want to do some lines in the oval? Dude, fucking dude. Shit. No, I'd say like. Dude, you guys want to bomb a village while we're high? <laughs> Here's my dad's drone laptop. Oh, dude, fucking. what a rush! Not killing people, but that whole. That oh whole thing. yeah. <laughs> um, no, I would say like. Uh, but what I don't understand about it is like, 
so he doesn't do anything. So like, this is what I've always wondered about. He parties, dude. But okay, what I've wondered about the like the crazy rich kids, right? He hasn't made any of the money, right? It's his <clears throat> dad's. So like, does he just? Well, well I'll, I'm I'm just gonna say this family first of all. Biden has been in politics since the fucking 70s, 80s. Since the Ice Age. Like he's been, he, <laughs> and not to mention he's had a lot of power and been able to do <clears throat> all the power of all the advantageous things to make millions of dollars. So their family has tons of fucking money. So yeah, he doesn't have to do shit. So yeah, but what I'm wondering about for him, him personally, like when he has his card and he's going to pay for something, does he get like an allowance from his it's- dad? Or is it it's just probably, like a, it's probably a family wealth that's distributed amongst all that's sitting in trusts and accounts and like twenty different things and he can he has access to it because he's part of the family, so he can just be like I just need yes, to grab something. Yeah, I always wondered if they have like a company card like we do, but it's just taxpayer dollars and it's just like ah you know throw it on the government. Probably, like, fucking probably, dude. Dude, the credit limit on that bitch. It's actually unlimited. Actually, it's actually negative because we're in so much debt. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's the other thing I don't get. Who do we owe all the money to? Fucking. China? I don't know. That's what everyone says, but like, wait, what? How? It's, dude, I, I, How are we borrowing have, have you, it? Do you ever like look at the US debt clock and it's just like running? Yeah. Up, it runs up like a gas tank that never stops. It's like, I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And then we're giving 200 billion to Ukraine. I'm like, I don't get economics. But yeah, I don't uh, think they do either. The, the other thing that I don't get is like, we owe that in US dollars, but we own the US dollars. It's our dollar. Yeah. So how are we borrowing I think our dollar? I think it's transferring into our currency from other so places. So we're like, we need 300 billion yen and we... Who the fuck knows? I don't know. And then we owe them that back? Why that's did, a, why did we know, even borrow you know, it from That's them? a great task for the IRS who seem to can't <laughs> stop peeking in the window of the small businessman that made 500 bucks without them knowing. How about you audit the fucking government? How about that? How about you take your little offices and your swivel chairs and go over there and start looking at their files and tell me what you find. Go to the Pentagon, head to the White, head to the so White House. People start getting killed. Yeah, I, I'm going to tell you, you have, you, you'll find yourself with a lot of work to do. Instead, <laughs> instead, cash they're, out. Instead, they're they're going to bet MGM. Oh, this dude made eight hundred dollars in 2014 gambling. Didn't fucking report it, and they're peeping their heads on everybody else. That's what they want to do. Not fucking Hunter Biden and fucking Sleepy Joe doing whatever the fuck they want. Doing fucking lines off hookers. Man. Do you ever think we're just going about it wrong? Should we just be more fucked up people? Maybe, I don't know. Ah, the kind of the old conscious gets in the way, you know? Imagine if you just didn't have a conscious, you could just fuck anyone over. That'd be crazy. I mean, I could fuck people over, I think. I'd be fine. You'd feel bad. You wouldn't just do it. But I'm saying it's like... No, I don't think I would. No, the ones that... It depends what you're talking about. Fuck someone over. Well, what I'm saying is the people that you can genuinely fuck over and gain the most from are the people that you know the best and trust you the most because you can get the most out of them. That's That's when it would be like you completely fucking me over and getting something from it. Like you would not feel okay about that. Oh, no, no, no. No, no. Well, you said fuck someone over. I'd fuck someone over. Well, yeah. I mean, if it's like just a random person and it's like, you know, know, it was him or me, you know. No, I think I'd just do it. Yeah. Well, what does fuck someone over me? That means just fucking lie to them or just like, just be like, oh, yo, I'm going to do this. If you want to put your money in, you just don't put your money. I don't know what the fuck, but I, I think it's a, it's, it's a lot of, we need to learn how to figure, we need to learn how to, we need to learn how to manipulate. Yeah. Apparently we just don't do it. We're just not yeah. doing it good. Cause that's how everyone else gets their money. Okay. No, it's not. Hunter Biden, you think he hasn't manipulated oh, you said a few everybody people. else? Okay, the the higher up people, the, all the politicians. Well, you have to be in power to be in an advantageous position to manipulate a bunch of people. Well, we start with a little bit of power. We have power over something in here, and then we grow that to Enum Claw. We <laughs> yeah. slowly take over, dude. <laughs> Fuck. I don't, know. I don't know. I feel like here's the thing. This is what it is. This is what it is. Once you start, I, I feel like you think, oh, how could you not feel bad? But then you realize what you're getting, and you're like, Dude, this is so fucking worth it because you're fucking just loaded. Hmm. And then, like they always say, if you do something, you're like, oh, this is, oh, I don't know if I should do this. Once you do it once, it gets easier every fucking time. It's like killing people. Yeah. 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 I'd imagine, I feel like you can, get, you can get used to anything. I mean, there's people in the wars and shit, I guess. They... Dude, what's fucking crazy? <laughs> dude, there's still like people in like, dude, I read this article. It's, it's, there's like this little fucking island in, in the ocean. First of all, there are fucking millions of little islands everywhere that I never even fucking knew Do they existed. still have people on them? Yeah, and there's still people. And they were talking about this, these two villages on this remote island. They have been at civil war with sticks <laughs> for thousands and thousands of years. All they've done is just kill each other with sticks 
and, and one side of the island is one village. On the other side of that is... And it's like one of those uninhabited, untouched, uncontacted tribe kind of things. And they've just killed each other for thousands of years. And they just keep doing it. And they just go, they kill each other, blah, 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 and then they repopulate, and then they kill each other, kill each other. And it's just a never-ending gang war. <laughs> what I never understood about the untouched tribe things, wouldn't they want to be told, like, hey... How? It's, it's a Here's language. a microwave. It's... it's, like, it's it's a language that's gone. No one knows how to speak it. How the da, fuck do you... Da, da. How, <laughs> how do you... It, it, you can't. Uncontacted for, do they have for like, thousands of years. Do they years. have like schools and stuff? No. They, they, no how do they, they, they just, learn shit? They don't learn shit. They just survive. And they eat like people did back thousands and thousands of years they ago. They eat beetles and shit. Animals or whatever the fuck they can find. They fish. Most of them, it's ocean, surrounded by ocean, so it's fish and shit. But yeah. That's crazy. It's fucking insane. Why don't we just like... Like take the kids, or that sounds well. Bad, there's there's pl- there's pl- oh fucking, no no. I meant like get the kids out of there and raise like show them there's life. Because for one, for one, they've been uncocked after for so long. It's it's almost like what happened when the Europeans came to America to the Indians mm. and they had no antibodies and they gave them like simple infections. They just died because they had no antibodies. For oh, one, shit. for two, they, there's uncocked attacked tribes in the um, off the coast of India. People went there. They fucking killed them. Jesus. And they and one of the guys who was oh my god, I don't know. It was actually one of the Rockefellers at one point. This was way back in the day. There was a member of family of the Rockefellers who went missing and this unconcocted tribe, they're pretty sure he fuck, they fucking killed him and ate him. Damn. And he went to like go try to help him, blah blah blah. They got some rich, rich they they gotta eat the rich. Yeah, they Holy did. They literally shit. did it. But that's fucking why. And then like people have tried it over <laughs> over the years to go to these places. I think one guy got a fucking arrow to the chest when he went to went to fucking I feel like I'd show up in, like, body armor or something, right? Like, be a little more prepared. Just send one fucking dude there with a fucking, with a minigun, too. (laughs) Actually, it's fucked up. You don't kill him. (laughs) Yeah, we go there to save him. You just kill him all. Did you see that video of Gronk with a fucking minigun? No. (laughs) Gronkowski? He's still got the basketball shorts on. He's holding it like Halo's. Oh, I want to shoot one of those. God, man. That'd be be cool. Boy, at an uncontacted Indian tribe. Huh? Uh, on an uncontacted tribe. No, but like... There's that smirk. But like, okay, have you not... I Okay, listen. Th- the masculine urge to have like a... To pull a no rush No, in. no. To, to have it a glorious last stand up against impossible odds. Oh, well, that... Like me, me in a sandbag pit versus 500 screaming natives with spears running at me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I think that like... And then I brought out ammo and then I brought out a fucking ammo, dropped the gun. (laughs) (laughs) The grenade. (laughs) Headband. (laughs) Headlock. (laughs) Little kid. Oh, no. (laughs) I'm imagining. Are you telling me as a dude, you've never, you've never thought or had a thought of like just a glory. Like Like a 300 moment. And you've never had a a moment when like you watch The Last Stand in, in a movie and you're like, Fucking that's 300, shit. yeah. I have, yeah there's been happens. times I was bored in bed, but plenty of times. I just YouTubed last stand scenes <laughs> just to see the, and I know they're going to die at the end. I just love seeing a glorious last stand. Dude, the way I was imagining that whole scene is like if it was us two and I'm already down, like I'm almost dead, and I hear the click, you turn to me, the sun's setting, you're just like, and then you just start running. No, there's like, <laughs> there's, there's, like a, there's like a thousand more over the hill and we just charge them. <laughs> It's <laughs> a way to go out. One dude. Le- oh yeah, dude, we're going. Way to go out, dude. <clears throat> dude, I I would love a three. We should watch that movie, Three Hundred. God, it's a good movie. Oh, it's a good movie. Yeah, dude. The thing is, like, that was like true. No, oh, hundred fucking true, yeah. crazy, yeah. dude. Yeah. Three hundred Spartans, dude. Dude, they had a choke point, dude. <laughs> Dudes were freaks. <laughs> dude, how geeked out were they, bro? Dude, uh, that's there's the, no way they didn't have no fucking Greek amphetamines, dude. Dude, that's the thing, bro. Back then, and especially, I even say this about like they weren't scheduled. Even, even, <laughs> even in the 20s, the 30s, I feel like because because of the fact it was harsher to survive mm-hmm. back then. Just men were fucking just iron, dude. Especially back then, and even like even back like you know the <clears throat> mill and steel workers of the 20s of the industrial revolution and shit. Just. Fucking just, just jacked. drink my bourbon for breakfast. Iron fucking, fucking dudes. hands that could, put like your, a... that could put your head through a wall with their fucking pinky. Like just freaks. And as as time gone on, because we now have luxuries and shit that they never had. So it's just, God. yeah, we're all spoiled. Yeah, yeah. we all have absolutely. They're are, not skinny yeah. 
No, like I'm, us. Ab- absolutely are. Absolutely. But dude, like, have you ever like shaken one of those like old man's hands and it's almost like it's got like oh, I thought, webbing? I said, if you're shaking an old man, I'm like, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but there's just that like fucking, it's like a hand, but it's also just like a callus and it's just like, Urgh. oh yeah, just a Fuck, brute, just an absolute dude. brute. Fuck. Can you imagine, dude, like back in the day, like if you were like a resident of like Greece or some shit? And you're like, oh, like I'm a, I'm a library or I'm an author. But it, w- it would be, it would be cool to have those sandals in the nice. Imagine feeling that breeze, and then you have that little like weird skirt thing that, that goes over your shoulder. A tunic, tunic, yeah, that's what it is. Dude, when we had our toga party, I actually felt the very, tunics. Very good that'd be pretty that. cool to wear that every day and to feel the breeze going through. Yeah, I would just. What I would hate is like I feel like in that time I obviously wouldn't be a Spartan. I'd be you know one of the. You'd be you'd be uh, uh, a writer. You'd be, or no, you'd be an Athenian. <laughs> Oh, okay. They were the writers and the philosophers. Yeah. They were actually referred the, to as gays. Yeah, I believe they were very gay. Um, but imagine you'd definitely be gay. <clears throat> yeah, probably. But imagine like your your girl, like the love of your life, like she breaks up with you, and then she's dating a fucking Spartan dude, just getting like hands on the hips, just thrown and shit, thrown through the fucking <clears throat> ceiling. Yeah, she's just <laughs> like Leonidas, fucking take me, and it's like fuck. Well, I think you just let him at that point. Fighting back. Imagine that, dude. <laughs> Fuck, a bar fight with a fucking Spartan. Dude, back then, dude. Oh, my God. Well, you just... Well, we've talked about this before. Like, even back in, like, the Wild Wild West. I'm just saying, like... I almost said Wild Wild West. The Wild Wild West. <laughs> I said it like it was a ride. I said it like it was a ride. The like, Wild Wild West. I said like it was a ride. To the Wild Wild no, West. No, I'm just saying, but, like, you could just kill people. It's just like, oh, okay, well, I'm gonna have a drink. That's crazy. It's man. fucking nuts, Simpler dude. times. Ah. <sighs> Like Red Dead Redemption, dude. Oh, my, oh God. my God. You played the shit out of that game. I did play the shit out of that. Dude, I had the fucking, um, the the mule zebra thing. Oh, that thing was fast. And it was like, and, and dude, it's funny because like in Red Dead, in, in the online mode of the first one, you could like have a map and you could track where people are going like in your server or whatever. <laughs> dude, it was fucking, I'd like kill somebody in like fucking in the city and then I'd be at McFarland's ranch. I look at the map of this dude. <laughs> dude, me and this guy for like months, dude, we had like this vendetta and we would get on and we were friends, but like, we would we only were friends so we could be on the same server and kill each other. We never talked. We never party chatted. And so I would I would go in and I would just like spawn in and I'd open my map and here I could see the little zebra just dashing towards me and we would just fucking we would just be just, and he'd kill me and then I'd go to Mexico and he'd follow me to Mexico and then I'd fucking kill him. Oh, we gotta find that guy. Oh man. We're still friends on uh he's still on my friends list, I think. That's good. Well, we're at 30 something. All right. Well, James, where can they find <laughs> James, can Patreon, they- Patreon time, patreon.com slash ATLT for exclusive content episodes early ish. Z, where can they find you? I think find me at Zan Scroll Leslie or both her Instagrams at the Ryan Leslie Instagram page. Um, thank you guys for listening. Uh, we'll see you next week. And, and see ya. See ya. up in here.